when we are talking about subnetting, you have to ask for yourself, what's your consideration? What's um, what you need? To answer on this question, you have considered either how many subnets you need or how many hosts you need in each subnet. Let's say, let's say you need four subnets. When we are talking subnetting, this means that we must borrow some host bits from host portion and include those borrowed bits into network portion. All right, let's start from easiest way. And I always start explaining when I'm explaining subnetting, I always start from class C. And let's take class C. Let's take uh, any private IP address. It's okay to demonstrate subnetting. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, private address or public IP address. No problem. Let's take private IP address. 192, 168, that one, that zero. And we know that in class C, subnet mask is 255, the 255, the 255, that zero. Now, you have to ask yourself either how many subnets you need, total subnets you need, or how many host addresses you need in each subnet. Let's solve both problems. Let's say subnets. Subnetting means, means borrowing host addresses for network portion. And now where we have host, host portion, host portion is this one, right? Last octet. And we call this last octet interesting octet, or you can say interested octet because we are working on it. That octet is interested octet for us because we must borrow some bits from that portion. This is this last one, fourth octet is right now interested octet for us. And let's translate this decimal zero into binary zeros. And we will have all eight bits zeros. Translating decimal zero is three, four, five, six, seven, in the previous slide, when I uh, explained and when we talked about the formulas, if you remember, I gave you three formulas to calculate networks and to calculate total hosts and uh, usable host addresses. Now, let's say you need three subnets or let's say you need four subnets four subnets so i'll type here a is to the power of n to get you need four subnets n stands for number of bits you must borrow from host portion or borrowing host bits means that you are converting those bits from binary zeros into binary ones. We know that binary string or binary ones indicate network portion and zeros always indicate host portion. Now, can you tell me to get this desirable number four because you need four subnets, how many bits we must borrow from host portion for network. Three. Huh? Three. I cannot hear you? Three. To the power of three, how much? Huh? Eight. Eight. We need four. 
What about if we borrow two? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that, right? Yeah. And now you are a networker. Why don't borrow more bits? Yes, yeah, it will satisfy your condition, your requirement, but you don't need this. If you, if you are borrowing three bits, so we are wasting addresses. Always try to solve this problem in more efficient way. We decided to borrow two bits because borrowing two bits from host portion gives us desirable result. So this means that we are now translating for those two bits which were previously in host portion are not in host portion anymore. Those zeros are now binary ones. And we know that binary num uh, ones always indicate network portion. And look here, the edge now between network portion and host portion falls between seventh bit, uh, between seven and sixth bit, okay? So right now, this is fourth octet, right? So uh, we don't care about the first three octets because though we are not working on those octets, we are working right now uh, on fourth octet that is interested octet for us. And now let's, let's convert back to decimal, into decimal notation, this binary number, one column, twos, fours, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. All right, this means that after translating back to decimal, now we have custom subnet mask. Before it was default subnet mask, now after subnetting, now we have custom subnet mask, which is 255, the 255, the 255, that 192, okay? So each subnet has 255, the 255, the 255, the 192 subnet mask. And this last binary one indicates the length of your subnet. And when we are talking about the length of our subnet, we must find out the magic number. The magic number is 64. The magic number is the last binary one in your network portion. Always check where it falls, in which number it falls. It falls in this case on 64. This means that the range or the length of our subnet is 64. Cisco says, use original network address or default network address as a first subnet address which is our original address. Original address is network address is this one. So we have total four subnets now. First subnet starts 192.168.1.0. We have the length of our subnet is 64. If we start counting from zero, which will be my last address? 63. Huh? 
63. Abs who said, Munir? Absolutely yeah. right. First subnet starts from default network address and it ends to this address. And indeed, look here, if you start counting and including zero and go up to 63, it gives you total number 64, which is our magic number. Okay, subnet mask. We have now custom subnet mask, no more default subnet mask because we already subnetted. So this will be 255, the 255, the 255, that 192. Okay? But you can use, instead of subnet mask, you can use here in this way, slash 26. Why slash 26? Because we have 26 binary ones in network portion. And indeed, look here. 8 plus 8, this is 16, plus 8, this is 24, and plus 2, 26. And we call this CIDR, classless inter-domain routing. Clear? And we call this network prefix. This is subnet mask. And when we have slash and something we call that network prefix. And I'll remind you again, our main rule, subnet mask or network prefix always tells us where we have network portion in our network and where we have host portion in our address. Let's continue. And then I'll give you another 10 minutes break. We have network address, we have network prefix, we have broadcast address, and now we need to find out usable or assignable IP addresses. And assignable IP addresses are, I'm gonna type, uh, first, let's say first two, two octets. I'll type only last two octets, starting from 1.1 to 1.62. All addresses between 0 and 63, we have all those addresses are usable IP addresses or assignable IP addresses. We can assign those addresses to the hosts. And in our formula, I'll remind you our formula to calculate usable host addresses. We have to the power of and host minus two. Why minus two? Because we cannot assign very first address and very last address in your, uh, from your network range to calculate and we will get tot um, the total usable addresses. In this case, how, how, how many? 62 addresses you can have. What about second subnet? If, we, if our network range ends on this IP address, next subnet, next address will start. This will be second subnet, will start 64. Again, the length of our subnet 
is 64, right? Who can tell me the broadcast address? 127. 127. So all addresses between, and same thing here, slash 26. All addresses between 1.64 to 1.127, all addresses are usable or assignable IP addresses. Dot one dot one ninety one. Okay. Yes, this that is true. And one dot one twenty seven. Huh? One dot one twenty seven. No, no, no. One dot one twenty nine. Okay. Twenty nine. 190. 1.190. 1.190. Okay, it's good. And the last one, last subnet. 255. 255. Yeah, look. The length of our subnet is 64. If you start counting, including 192, which will be which IP address will be the last one in that range? Of course, 255. Let's start counting. 192, 193, 194, 5, 6, 7, and so on, up to 255. Total number will be 64. And uh, now I'll ask you in different way. Guys, what is the first usable IP address in this range? Uh, 193. Absolutely right. Yes. 193. Who can me uh, can tell me what's the last usable IP address in this range? 254. Absolutely right. The guys, you are networkers, almost networkers, network professionals. Tomorrow, after a few days, you'll start working in the field. You need this. 254. Okay, we did it. We subnetted. This is the way how we are subnetting. But this is when we are subnetting into equal subnets. Because we, everywhere, we have same subnet mask slash 26 network prefix is 26 everywhere right now take 10 minutes coffee break when you come back we'll continue i hope this was clear what i explained you today it was clear is it clear clear yeah john is it clear yes professor eddie johanan yeah, yeah professor i'm with you john Guys, De La Fruz. Yes, hi, we have here. All yes, right. Clear. So, 10 minutes coffee break. Now it's uh, 11.10. We'll continue 11.20.